Vietnam is home to an array of diverse landscapes. Within these landscapes lie the true treasures. Vietnam is the 16th most biologically diverse country on the planet. There are over 78 known species which can only be found within these majestic lands and countless others that are found all over Southeast Asia. The Indochinese tiger, a variety of plant life, the Sao La, the white-cheeked gibbon, the long-tailed sun skink, and numerous bird species. The Austin civet can be found on the floor of the forest and in the trees of northern Vietnam, Laos and southern China, where it forages under fallen leaves and twigs for its nightly meal. The civet leaves its den around dusk and begins its hunt for all sorts of good stuff. The Austin civet, like other civets, lives on a mixed diet of earthworms, insects and other invertebrates, as well as small vertebrates like frogs and even some fruit. They have a long body, about the size of a domestic cat, short legs, a tapered head with small ears, and a long, bushy tail. The Austin civet is easily recognizable by its markings. Four defined black stripes on a sleek, dainty white body. All civets have scent-producing glands, located in a double pouch near the genitals. The fatty yellow secretion of these glands has a distinctive musky odor, used for territorial marking and which, in the past, has been used in women's perfume. During the warm part of the dry season, the Austin civet may mill around for a good part of the night, but like many small carnivores, it doesn't really enjoy being wet, so during the monsoonal summer, they may only come out for a small meal before returning to the dry comfort of home. Another Vietnamese carnivore likes to keep the same hours as the Austin civet and luckily its favourite snack can be found all over the forest. The Sunda pangolin is easily distinguished from their northern cousins by their small ears, long snouts and their long tails. And although this may look like any pangolin's dream, seeing as the diet of all pangolins is made up almost completely of ants and termites, the Sunda pangolin seems to prefer a more challenging dinner than a row of termites on the forest floor and will go to great heights for its meal. This might seem like no small feat for this small carnivore, but in fact the Sunda pangolin was made for this kind of hunt. They have a prehensile tail that allows them to be amazing climbers. A common pastime is hanging from the tip of this tail, even sometimes when they are sleeping. They have no teeth but quickly snap their ant prey up with their very long tongue, which is covered in sticky saliva, one of the longest tongues of any mammalian species. And you may notice that the penguin's whole body is covered in hard scales, which no doubt helps protect them from the nasty bites their dinner might want to take out of them. Interestingly enough, these scales are made out of the same stuff as our fingernails. Penguins are solitary creatures, so you are sure to know that if you see two together, one is the mother. And in the cold winter months, they spend most of their time cozied away in various burrows. In the late hours, our next animal will not be seen roving about, but can be seen at any hour of the day, if one is very lucky, in tall grasses and around streams or small ponds in the forest. The true king of the jungle, the largest venomous snake in the world. It can reach lengths of up to six meters and stand high enough to look a grown man in the face. This animal, which has struck fear and awe in mankind for thousands of years, would actually much rather stick to its diet of other snakes than strike a human. The king cobra is actually quite a shy animal and will flee any situation with a human, unless cornered and vulnerable. The venom of a king cobra is actually relatively weak when compared to other cobras and venomous snakes, but it more than makes up for it with the ability to deliver enough venom in one bite to kill an elephant or 20 people. Usually a solitary animal, male and female king cobras will stay in the same area after mating to protect their eggs. These animals have a commonality in the forests in which they hunt, and they are all found in Vietnam. Unfortunately, 
Their similarity does not end there. Về văn nói riêng và những loài động vật hoang dã nói chung khác thì đều bị một mối cái mối đe dọa là săn bắt là trái phép và mất môi trường sống khi mới có do hiện tượng là tàn phá thiên nhiên, tàn phá rừng. It's true that the Austin civet, as well as nine other species of civet, used to live in plentitude, foraging as aforementioned in all the forests of northern Vietnam. In recent years, the demand for this animal, mostly for its meat at prestigious dinners, has grown to unsustainable proportions. The species cannot keep up, and now five species of civet are listed in the Vietnamese Red Book of Threatened and Endangered Animals. À, theo tôi cái nguyên nhân chính mà dẫn đến cái săn bắt ở săn bắt động vật hoang dã ở Việt Nam mình như là ở Cúc Phương này nói 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 riêng thì do cái, cái nhu cầu mà về thịt thú rừng hoang dã bây giờ rất là nhiều. The pangolin sharing its habitat with the civet has also risen in popularity and demand at wildlife restaurants over the past few years. Once only a rare novelty at a dinner table or in a bottle of rice wine, the pangolin is now a regular sight. In the minds of the affluent, pangolin products have gained magical properties. The meat giving strength and helping with skin problems, and the scales aiding in the production of breast milk. This mild-mannered animal, which 20 years ago was commonly seen in the forests all over Vietnam, is now such a rare sight that they are presently being smuggled in from as far as Malaysia and Indonesia. Cái chuyện cái nạn săn bắt để làm thực phẩm rồi làm làm ngâm rượu thì đe dọa rất lớn. The king cobra, a very long time resident of Vietnam, is in danger of an eviction, leading to a complete demise of this snake from the wild in Vietnam. Like both the civet and the pangolin, they are hunted for their meat, and like the pangolin, the meat and blood of the snake have been believed to bring strength to those men rich enough to pay for it. King cobras have one more hurdle. Before they even have a chance to make that first hiss, the eggs of these legendary creatures are often collected for consumption. These three animals share almost nothing in common, save except for the forests they live in, and a completely unsustainable demand, and protection under Vietnamese law. Sự hiểu biết của dân ấy, khi muốn hiểu biết về luật pháp để mà bảo vệ động vật hoang dã hết sức cần thiết trong cái công cuộc bảo vệ bảo tồn động vật hoang dã của chúng ta, đặc biệt khi họ hiểu biết hơn về cái tầm giá trị của chúng ở trong tự nhiên, chúng có giá trị như thế nào và chúng quý hiếm với đất nước ta như thế nào.